Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number four in the Business Logic Vulnerabilities module titled Flawed Enforcement of Business Rules. All right, let's get started. This lab has a logic flaw in its purchasing workflow. To solve the lab, exploit this flaw to buy a lightweight leather jacket. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. All right, so the target goal over here is to exploit the logic flaw to buy this item over here for less than the intended price. And the way we're gonna do that is first log in as a user and then attempt to identify the vulnerability. All right, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp. And so all my requests are already passing through my proxy. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go to my account and then log in with the credentials that we were given. So the password was Peter, hit login. And then you could see over here, the store credit that we have is $100. We're gonna click on home and look for the item that we need to purchase. So that would be this item right over here. So the lightweight leather jacket, which costs $1,337. And we clearly can't afford that because we only have $100. So let's click on view details, go down, add to cart, and send that request to a repeater. And then from there, go to our cart. And notice over here, we've got a new functionality that allows us to add a coupon. And you could see over here, you get a coupon for being a new customer and it knocks off $5 or maybe 5% off of the cost of the jacket. So let's assume that we tried everything that we tried in the previous uh, couple of labs and it didn't work. And so now we're gonna test the coupon functionality to see if there's any vulnerabilities in that functionality. So let's add a coupon over here, click apply. And we're gonna send that request to repeater as well so that we could test it. And you could see over here, it knocks off $5. And then I'm gonna place order and send that request to repeater as well. All right, so it says over here, not enough store credit for this purchase because it costs 1,332 after the discount and we only have $100. So let's go to repeater and see the requests that were made by the application. So when we clicked on place order, it performed this request over here. And if we look at the parameters that this request takes, it just takes in a CSRF token. So this is definitely not the request that we want to um, exploit because it doesn't take in any client side parameters that could potentially change the price of the item. So um, let's move on to the next request. The next one is when we added a coupon to the cart. So over here, it knocked off $5 uh, for the item. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the parameters that it takes in. You could see over here, there's a CSRF token, so that's standard. And then the next parameter that it takes is the value of the coupon. A really classic case that I've seen in real world applications is that the application doesn't check if you've applied the coupon before. And so it allows you to apply it an infinite number of uh, times. So let's see if that's the vulnerability in this application. So you get a 302. Let's reload our page. And over here it says the coupon is already applied. So it does not allow us to apply the coupon more than one time. Now you could always guess any other coupons. So if there's no throttling mechanism over here, you could send a million requests to the application within a few minutes and then try to see if there's any other coupons uh, that are not discovered in the application. But this is under the business logic vulnerabilities module. And so it should be a business logic flaw that we need to exploit. And so to do that, we need to see if there's any other part of the application that could potentially allow us to exploit that business logic flaw. So let's go to home and then go down to see if there's any new functionality. So there is a functionality that allows us to sign up to their newsletter. So let's just test it out. Say test at test.ca and click on sign up. And over here, it says use the coupon sign up 30 at checkout. So because we signed up, it gave us a coupon that maybe knocks off $30 off of our account. So let's go to the card over here. And then let's add the coupon to see if we could 
use it, hit apply, and we can. And it looks like it knocked off $401, so maybe 30% of the cost. It looks like it's a little bit more than 30% of the cost of the uh, price. Or maybe it is 30% and I can't do math. Uh, but the idea is that it allows you to add as many coupons as you want. Now this is still $930.90 and so we still can't afford it. So let's see if we could add this coupon multiple times. Hit send. And then reload the page. And it gives you the same error, which is coupon is already applied. So the next thing that I'm going to try is try and add this coupon. If the backend code only verifies the last coupon that you added, then maybe we can get away with alternating the coupons and then reducing the price to less than $100. So let's try that over here and see if it works. Let's reload the page. And here we go. We could apply the coupon again as long as it's not consecutively. So when we tried new cost five, and then we tried new cost five again, right after the first one, we weren't allowed to do it, but because we used another coupon, the application seems to only check the last coupon. And if it's not equal to the last coupon, then it allows us to apply it again. And so let's do that for the sign up 30. Hit send, reload the page and it allowed us to apply it, so we're at 524. Let's hit send again. Reload the page. Okay, we're getting there. Hit send. Reload the page. And we're at 118, so we're almost there. Hit send. And that's not going to work because it's a, we're already at sign up 30, so it needs to be at new cost 5, hit send, reload the page. We're at 113, so we only need one more request with sign up 30, and it should work. And here we go. So the total is $0.00. Let's see if the application allows us to perform this request. Click on place order. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.